That's perfect, babe. You're so beautiful. Shut up. gym this has just become one of our favorite uh, traditions you know a habit a routine that we are glad to get back into but you know our favorite routine ever What's the thing that? we love to do the most I have no idea ah, it is the zip fish shake and today we are having I don't remember where I put mine I put mine right here BAM I'm having peach mango and my husband's having pink grapefruit you have to cover the eyes of the humans, yes. There we go. There you go, exactly. <laughs> I'm using my hashtag waxwag. My husband's using the OG Zip Fizz, the bottle opener that started it all. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so I'm going to be trying something a little different uh, this week. I'm only going to use half a tube. So, ever since I've, I know, right? Ever since I've started really eliminating all sweeteners like mm -hmm. all sweet treats and sweet things from my diet mm -hmm. i've been like damn zip fizz is sweet like it's just so strongly flavored and a lot of people were like oh yeah that's why i only use half a tube but i was like genius that's why it's like in a tube just reclose the tube yeah. and use half of it right yeah. but then now my anxiety is going to be like how much is exactly half right because i want to have like a similar experience from one day to the next so let me see is that half yep yeah, okay <laughs> All right, so I'll be saving that for another day, okay? Mm. okay. All right, husband. Oh, let's get ready to shake it. You, uh, wait. Sealed and closed, uh, right? It's okay, yes. okay. Let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. I love shaking it with my husband. Oh my goodness. I love shaking it with you. You're so adorable. To us being together, to us being healthy at the gym, and to you waking up early enough to come with me. To you being adorable, always by my side, in my everything. Oh my God. To Zip Fizz. Yes. To Keto Chow, actually. There we go. Don't forget, you can get 10% off your Keto Chow purchase by yeah. using the link in the description. Yes. Plus, I think those like on their website, they're only like seven dollars. Mm -hmm. Such a good deal. Go ahead and pick them up. These uh, aren't keto channel. This is it. Oh, this is zip is, but I'm saying yeah, the the container. Yes. yes. Okay, I got it, I got it. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. Did I tell you I cannot taste the difference? <laughs> wow. Off to the gym. Today I'm walking on the treadmill. What are you doing? The old same. The old weights. Same old, same old. Yep. All right, leg out. Nothing changed. Milton, Milton, you being a good boy? You being a good boy? Milton, look this way. Good boy. Good boy, fatty. You being a fat boy. Good boy. DJ, DJ. Where's the rest of your family, bud? Maddie, come here, Maddie. Come here, Maddie, Patty. Oh my God, it's hot. Come on, Milton. Come on, Milton boy. Milton, no, Milton, no. Okay, guys, I got six pieces of bacon going into the oven at 325, I think for 25 minutes, we'll see. Mm, 325 for 25 minutes, perfect every time. I'll show you how good it looks. Oh yeah, look at that, mm. What is your favorite way to make bacon? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay guys, so it's it's bacon time, right? This is just that six slices of bacon that I put in the oven. Mmm. Mmm. The more that cools down, the crispier it's gonna get. So I'm just gonna have this for right now. 
I'm watching some online training, so I'm going to have that as a snack. Tons of water. And then it'll be time to actually eat what I'll call my main meal in a little bit. So I'll let you know. But like, can never go wrong with bacon. You can never go wrong with bacon. Winston, you being a good boy. Winston, you being a good boy. You being a good boy. Oh. Oh. Look at you dudes. Look at you dudes. You stuck? You stuck like that? Okay. Okay, you stuck. Good boy. Good boy, doo doo. You just gonna stay like that? Okay. All right. Good boy. Oh, oh what is that? Oh, there's a good boy. Oh, oh Bubby. What oh, no, Bubby? <laughs> It's gonna be me. Y'all, when I tell you it is so much later than normal when I normally eat, but I had a lot of stuff to do this afternoon. I went to go play with Winston. I went to the shop, get my hair did. Hello, how are you today, right? Uh, and then I came right home just in time for a meeting. And so it is late and I still have the majority of my calories to consume today, right? The only thing I've had was some six slices of bacon this whole day. So right now I present to you seven ounces of salmon so i had already cooked these things earlier this week so all i did was to heat this up in the microwave and this is salmon with yes regular yellow mustard on it don't at me bro this is absolutely delicious mm. the acidity what mm -hmm. perfect balance now you guys know i heated this up in the microwave until it was basically salmon jerky at this point. Like, I've dried it out, all the moisture is gone. There are ways to heat it up without making it so dry, or you could just cook it fresh, right? But I knew that I don't mind tough, chewy meat, even salmon, so I knew that I could cook them all and then heat them up in the microwave. Mmm. I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm immediately going to eat my taco meat. So, that's just eight ounces of ground beef. So, I'm calling it the six, seven, eight diet, right? Six slices of bacon, seven ounce filet of salmon, eight ounces of ground beef. This is all part of the protein sparing modified fasting diet that I'm attempting for the month of July. So far, so good. Like I've been finding it really filling and also just really simple. Right now I have to get to this. I have to finish eating and close my eating window. Thank you. Okay guys, eight ounces of ground beef. Now this is using my taco seasoning. You can find the recipe for my taco seasoning right there. It is really simple, but it's delicious. And boy, does it just elevate some ground beef. I'll tell you that. So this is half a pound. Delicious, oh, well, there you go. Delicious, meaty, fatty, 80, 20, you know what I'm saying? Mmm. So I'm just eating a bowl of ground beef. Like, you remember this used to be part of this used to be part of taco tray. It's basically the meat from taco tray without anything else, right? No lettuce, no sour cream, no cheese, no Quest chips. Like, when I tell y'all I have simplified things down, I have simplified things down. Cutting out dairy, cutting out processed products. Like, who am I? I don't know. The food is really good. And so I am just working on eliminating complexity in both the ingredients that I eat and my diet as a whole and cooking look all you have to do is just heat this stuff up there's no compiling there's no preparing just put some meat on the stove and wait till it cooks through that is my kind of meal prep so i'm gonna have this and then i'm gonna finish the day with the treat i'll show you what it is and just like that the ground beef is gone before we go any further i want to say a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video you know them and love them preferred keto this is their chocolate collagen. This is my absolute favorite. They have vanilla, they have salted caramel. The chocolate is my favorite. I'm not having Bulletproof coffee this month, so this is staying on the shelf. But whenever I do, this is one of my staples. It is delicious. It uses only stevia as a sweetener, and I absolutely love it. And it's cost-effective, which I really love. And I'm about to make it even more cost-effective because you can use the code WAC10 for 10% off on their website. Click the link in the description box below to get you some of this. Get the chocolate, tell them Autumn sent you. I know my mother loves the vanilla, but still, chocolate's where it's at. 
Thanks so much to the awesome folks at Preferred Keto for sponsoring today's video. Okay guys, I'm finally ending my day with a keto chow. Shout out to Joe and Rachel from Two Crazy Ketos. This is the most complex thing that I'm eating or drinking, I should say, all month, right? So this week I made my keto chow with coconut cream right because i was trying to get away from dairy not using heavy whipping cream i use coconut cream and butter this is the chocolate flavor i also put gelatin in there to make it a little bit thicker mm, mm. chocolate tastes like a milkshake so i love this because every day i can have essentially a different flavor and this is kind of what i use for my dessert but don't forget, it's kind of a healthy dessert, right? Because this has one third of your daily vitamins and minerals in it. You can also use the link in the description to get 10% off your Keto Chow purchase. This is the chocolate, I love it. My favorite flavor is the chocolate peanut butter and the chocolate mint. But anything that has the word chocolate in it, it's gonna do for me. Okay, so I'm gonna have this, I'll probably have a Zevia, and then like that is it. Thank goodness my eating window's done before 6 p.m. I wouldn't have recognized myself otherwise. So I'm gonna have this. I still got tons of water to drink, but for the most part, I'll be finished. Okay guys, I am done for the day. I got wrapped into more meetings. The only thing that I had was a Zevia. I did have a Zevia and I did not finish my water. So that's super sad. I drink about half as much as I'm supposed to, which is better than none, but other than that, I'm finished for the day. So I'm really enjoying protein sparing modified fasting. Yeah, I'm taping, yeah. Uh, you taping right now? Yes, I'm taping right now. I didn't even know you were taping right now. I'm you didn't know I was taping right now? You didn't hear me talking? No. You, okay, is that, okay, so now you do. Hey, everybody. Oh, you get on my nerves. I'm really enjoying protein sparing modified fasting. So my macros are about like 1,700 calories. I think in terms of calories still. So I get 1,700 calories on my eating days and then 900 calories on my fasting days. My fasting days consist mostly of protein right and so just to show you what i get on my fasting days bam <laughs> basically 24 ounces of chicken and so it has to be chicken breast because it's lean right because it's protein low fat do you want something I just want to say I love you. you just want to mess with me while i'm filming mm. that's what you want to do what, are you talking about? what you're doing right now uh, i just did not even know you were saying man <laughs> High protein, low fat, no carb. Look, I didn't have any carbs today except for what was in the keto chow. Like, and that is okay. Like, less than 10 total carbs this whole day? What? No dairy? What? Who am I even, right? I'm absolutely loving it. I'm feeling great. This chicken is very filling. So even though it's like 900 calories on a fasting day, Boy, when I tell you I sit down with this big bowl of chicken, like, oh, make it stop. Like, it's so good. It's so much. So I just put some barbecue seasoning on it. I cut it up into, like, cubes, and then I just cook it on the stove with some barbecue seasoning and, like, a rub, and it's absolutely delicious. So I have meat and zevia on my fasting days so like i said i'm doing protein sparing modified fasting all throughout the month of july i will make a recap video in the beginning of august just to let you know my experience with it also comment down below are you familiar with protein sparing modified fasting what are your thoughts if you have any questions about it you can go to maria emmerich's website that's where I learned everything I know. That's where everyone in the Facebook group has gone to get information. If you're not in the WAG Daily Keto Updates Facebook group, head over to Facebook and join us. It is a whole different live party in there, okay? Like, people are posting recipes, they're posting workouts, they're posting inspo. It is a great place to be. Click on the link in the description to join the Facebook group. We'd love to have you. That being said, I'm going to sleep. I got a day of chicken tomorrow, <laughs> but overall, Today was great. Bacon, salmon, ground beef. I mean, it was just a veritable cornucopia of meats, if you will, right? Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll catch you next week. Bye! Oh, look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. 5.34. You're just going to stay like that? Okay. All right.